Hi Jurassic Cuties, today we're going to draw Fluttershy from MLP's Equestria Girls. So let's get started. To draw Fluttershy as a girl, we're going to first start by drawing her face. So right here I'm going to come and draw basically the bottom of a U. All the way down and across. So there, got a nice curve in for her face. And from there, let's bring this up a little bit more so it's a little bit straighter. From there, I'm going to come in this area where I started and draw her eyes. So I'm going to come to the edge and just draw a circle. So same thing on this side, right there, towards the edge. And draw a circle. So then let's make them draw so cute eyes. We come in here with two smaller circles at an angle and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And the lines at the bottom. So same thing on this side. So I want to thank you guys for voting on my community page and letting me know which um, MLP Equestria girl you wanted me to draw. And Fluttershy here won by a landslide. <laughs> and I was so happy she did because she's actually my favorite because I just love the colors on her. And the lines at the bottom. Okay, so I have her eyes in. So I'm gonna come in this area right here towards the bottom. I'm trying to mimic the lashes that are on her. So I'm just gonna come down and curve it out. So it's gonna be a lower lash. And then I'm just gonna come in here and add another one. Not too complicated. So right here, come down. Just kind of like the lashes on her. But then I'm just going to add another one right here, simplify it. And if you want it, you can come in here very lightly and just draw three little lashes on the bottom. Hopefully that doesn't look too weird. <laughs> okay, so there, got the eyes in. So then from there, let's come up here and I'm just going to draw a curve on top of her eye for her brow. And, oh, I can't do this side yet, I forgot. So I have to do that later while, when I finish drawing her hair first. Okay, so then let's come in this area and give her a sweet smile right in the center. And cap it off. There. Okay, so I have her eyes in now. Let's come, let's bring this up a little bit more. So size a little bit higher and so from there, I'm going to come to say about right here, a little bit over from the center, and I'm just going to give myself a point. So this is basically where I'm going to start to draw her hair. So from this point right here, I'm just going to go up and I'm going to bring it down, just curve it down. Finish this point off. And from right here, I'm going to bring a curve over, but I won't finish it yet. So this is where her hair parts. And then from in this area, I'm going to come in a little bit and bring a curve down. So bring it all the way down to this point. There. So now we can go ahead and I'm going to continue this curve. So say about make it nice and thick, full set of hair. So about right there, I'll stop. And this is where her hair parts. So I'm going to go this way and up. Okay, so then from there, I'm going to bring this down. Nice and full. So get a nice bit of room. And up here, I'm going to bring this down. Go all up. And there's a little 
bump right here before I come down. So I'm going to come down a little bit right there and pop it out again and bring it all the way around. There, so we have the top of her head. So now before we go into more details, let's come on to the side right here. We're just gonna add a little butterfly. And so in this area, I'm just gonna add it at a slight tilt. So this is the center of the butterfly. And I'm just gonna add the wings. Just a curve to the center and out. So same thing right here, she has this little butterfly clip. And the antenna, so just two curves that come in. Okay, so then from there, let's see here. Let's come into this area where her um, eyes are, and we're just gonna come in here, about right here, and draw her ear. Just one ear. Some details on the inside. And then we can come in this area right here. Add a curve all the way down. And let's see here, we can bring this one down. And bring this in. Okay, so before I finish her hair, let's, um, oh, let's finish her brow right here. So about right there. Her other brow. Okay, so then let's draw her body before we um, meddle with the hair. Okay, so come to the center. So about right here, I'm gonna give her a little neck. And her shoulders. And I'm gonna come in here with her curve for her uh, little tank top that she's wearing. So about right here, I'm gonna give myself two points for her armpit area, and then two angle lines down for her top. And so then, let's bring this down a little bit more and connect it with a curve. Then I'm gonna come in here and just finish off her tank top with a curve. So from there, let's come over here. We're gonna draw her skirt. So I'm gonna poof out her skirt. Just poof it out on both sides. So about that long. And from there, let's go ahead and connect it. So just make sure it's about the same. And I'm gonna go ahead and curve all the way across. And then she has another layer below it, so once again, just go ahead and curve it all the way across. And you can come in here for some details, some creases. And let's come and draw her arms. So her arms are behind, so right here, where her armpit is, just gonna go ahead and draw curve where her elbow is, and I'm gonna follow with the outside. So same thing over here. So about right there, I'll start to curve it in. There, nice and simple, right? Her hands. Thank goodness. <laughs> okay, so then from there, let's draw her legs. So I'm gonna to come to the center, about right there. And I'm gonna draw a line down, straight down. And so her knees are kind of together because she's kind of standing with her toes together, kind of shy, um, in a shy pose. So in this area right here, I'm just gonna bring in her thigh. So then from there in this area right here, we're going to come out. Okay, so let's work on this one leg first. So this is the center. We're going to bring this out. So now we're going to start to draw her boot. So right here, this is our center. Just remember, this is our center. 
then I'm going to go past the center now with her foot, with her, this boot. So this boot is in the, for, uh, in the front more, so it's going to come out and bring it in. And about right there, I'm just going to go ahead and connect it. Okay, so now this side. So we're going to split it right here where the knees are. And this foot is going to be tucked in. So once again, curve it in. And so this is the same thing right here. Curve it out. So about right there, I'll bring it in. There. So then for some details, let's come about right here under her knee. We're going to draw her socks, both sides. And then uh, let's see here, her boots. So we're going to a little curve, another curve. And on this side, it's going to be a curve like that and out. And the bottom curve. And two more curves. So same thing on this side. There. And in here, you can add some her soft. I guess this is like a ruffle. Okay, so there. I got the details in for the boot. Let's come in here and finish off the gorgeous hair. So I'm going to bring this in. About right there, I'll flare it out. Curve it out and bring it back in. So then this side, we're going to do the same thing. So about right there, flare it out and tuck it back in. And let's finish the bottom. So we add another layer and down here, just tuck it back in. Okay, so then now to draw some details in here, I'm going to um, switch to thinner Sharpie to draw some of the lines for her hair. So, say right here, I'm going to start right here and go up. This just gives her hair some volume. And let's see here, one that goes all the way across. Tucks back in. So now we can see her hair a little bit better. And this one right here, just continue, curve. You can add as many or as little as you want, doesn't matter. So then here, let's see, maybe one that comes out. There went in a little too much. So we've heard this one strand. So I go in there and erase that. And let's see, there we can add a little curve here and here. And then, um, of course, let's give her a little heart right here because she is my draw so cute Fluttershy <laughs> from MLP, of course. And then in here, I'm going to draw two butterflies. So one's going to be a little bit bigger at an angle. So this is the center. Once again, just two curves to the center and back. And the antenna. So maybe one going this way, smaller. This is all to how many you want to draw. Some of them have three butterflies and then only have two. So I've seen different variations. And the antenna. And let's see here. I hope I'm not missing anything. 
but I think that is pretty much it. So thank you so much for voting for Fluttershy and um, please uh, join me on my community page and turn the notification on because I always need your help. Thanks so much for watching. If you loved it, please give me a thumbs up and share it and remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.